So what we did is we took the amazing resource that is the Youth Advocacy Guide and we adapted them to the South African context and we incorporated nutrition and mental health components. Now that we have trained over 350 UNICEF volunteers with youth advocacy training, we like to see them go back to their communities and use the advocacy tools and resources we have given them. In all that I've learned, I am much more empowered to actively be an agent of change in, in, in regards to mental health. It's taught us as young people that we don't have to wait for our elders. We can advocate issues by ourselves. I have learned a lot from the program. Um, advocacy itself, the planning and what goes into it, and networking, because you know I feel like most people, we come across injustices that we want to change, but we don't know what to do. As a young advocate, you need to take care of your mental health. My favorite part about implementing these trainings has been the interactions with the young people. We have had so many in-depth discussions with them about nutrition policy, mental health policy in their communities for themselves. And we have learned about what they prioritize, what is important to them, and what they think they can do about it. Yeah.